everybody. It's Adam. And today I wanted to do a rant on subway performers, drug addicts who are disguised as homeless people. Uh, just talk about those group of kids in New York on the MTA who get on the train and they're like, like what time is it? Showtime. What time is it? Showtime. Uh, <laughs> they're so talented and they're fucking crazy, right? How do they do all those flips and they don't touch anyone beyond me, okay? Quick detour. You may be wondering how to achieve this beautiful look that I have going on right now. Um, I don't want to look like Cousin It at the moment because my hair is so long that if it were to go in front of my face, I'd have to part it like that, and it just looks gross. Fuck, I'd look like Devin Sawa in 1995. Is that when he did Casper? Yeah. Uh, let's talk about it. So, if you live in New York City, you're bound to run into some performers, artists, on the subway, who make their living at, at partly, or all of it, um from your donations and you know what a lot of times these people are like really talented i've seen like barbershop quartets come on the subway line and they blow me away right uh and they're great uh will i give money to them sometimes yeah if i have it why not um because those are the guys that are or girls who you can tell okay this person has talent and they're just sharing it cool it's harmless right then you get the artists who come I'm, I'm not gonna call these people artists actually no i don't even know what to call them but they come on they're like, like hey let me rhyme you a riddle i'm like rhyme me a riddle does that sentence even make sense they demand money from you this one time this guy uh was doing personalized raps for people and I was new to New York it was like 2008 and you know I looked green little did they know I'm a smart ass <laughs> I had my headphones on to make it look like I was busy like everybody does in New York and he sat down in front of me and started rapping and I turned the volume down he he asked for money <laughs> I said, what? He said, I just gave you a personalized rap. And I said, oh. He said, what? That that wasn't free. I said, well, um, thank you so much. But you really should be paying me for my feedback. And I'm happy to give it to you. I think you have some work to do. He wasn't happy. I'll end that story there. One of my pet peeves are the drug addicts who disguise themselves as homeless people in need uh, to get your money. And I see tourists fall for it left and right. Oh, um, and these are the people who have the same story every single time you see them. On the F train, I'd always see him in Brooklyn. And this dude, you know, he's probably still doing it. Uh, his story all the time was, Hey guys, I just got out of the hospital last night, and I have a job interview today, and I just need some money, you know, to get to my job interview. It's very clear this person is, like, hopped up on meth. Uh, you got the scratches on the mouth, got the wrinkles. I mean, this guy was just, like, awful. And finally, this dude on the subway called him out on it. He's like, I see you almost every day with the same story. You're just a drug addict. And the guy was like, I didn't know what to do. And he escaped the, the, the car. And that gave me a little confidence boost to kind of say something. I was like, you know what? Next time I see this guy, I'm going to say something. Well, my chance came. 
the following summer. <laughs> Can you believe it? He had the same story months later. And he came on. He said, I just got out of the hospital last night. I'm going to my job interview today. And I said, hey, dude. I was a little more discreet. I said, I see you on here all the time with the same story. Okay? You're a drug addict. And he looked at me. With these eyes, I thought, fuck, I should have kept my goddamn mouth shut. <laughs> I'll end that story there. <laughs> now I want to talk about the group of talented kids. Kids, I really don't know. They must be, right? I'm thinking like early teens to like, I, I would guess at, at the most like early 20s, maybe, is the age range of these kids. I've only seen it in New York. So if you are not from New York, come and experience this the tourists just love it their like mating call to their audience is what time is it show time and then i'm like oh they're here now these kids are super talented i don't know how they do it they are like acrobatic dancers it's a little bit of an edge and they must rehearse on the subway lines late at night when nobody's on there. I mean, they need a full car to like do their rehearsals, is what I imagine. And they they turn on their their boombox. They're thrown back to 1988 for a second. <laughs> they jump and do flips, and and at no point do they touch or accidentally hurt a patron um if you are one of these performers my hat is off to you wow um being a gymnast myself fuck i mean you kids are great um i would say i have a lot of respect for you guys and when i do have money i do give it to you because you guys are pretty dope and in conclusion, if you are a drug addict trying to get money posing as an artist, fuck you. You know? Don't use art as a way of, of um, supporting your habit. Because I won't do it. Mm -mm, not me. You may get the tourists, but you're not going to get Adam. Mm -mm. And you're, you're way obvious. I mean, if you're going to come on and at least try to pretend to be an artist, try to make yourself not look like you haven't done like seven lines of cocaine, injected yourself as some kind of dra intravenous drug into your arms, and hide your fucking track marks, for God's sake. Because you gave yourself away. Anyway, uh, I just thought I would want, you know, just wanted to talk about that. Uh... Peace, love.